Hey everybody, it's Presser Powerline, and welcome back to more Let's Play Mega Man Legends. In the last episode, this guy killed me five times. In this episode, I'm finally going to have my revenge, and I intend to break him in half. So let's do it! Let's break this guy in half! Promise fulfilled. That is my point. Okay, Blue Boy, I must know, what's your name? Me? My name is Mega Man. Mega Man Walnut. Mega Man, is it? You know, I've been in this business a long time. But this is the first time anyone's ever given me this much trouble. Yet, it feels good somehow being beaten by you like this. Almost as though I've met my match. I can face the fact I lost you one. I'm gonna try to forget this entire incident. Ah, it feels good to say that. My heart feels as clean as the blue sky on a cloudless day. See you around, Mega Man. Wait! Once he finds the treasure, we'll wait for our chance and take it from him. What? You didn't think I was going to just walk away, did you? Oh, of course not. Now that's the teasel I know. You bet it is. Old teasel never gives up. I'll get that treasure sooner or later, one way or the other. That's me. Well, that was quite the incident, wouldn't you say? So, we beat the ultimate fighting robot, Brutus. And we destroyed the old city while we were doing it. But hey, look, the dogs are back! I like cats better. Okay, okay, I'm gonna quit for someone. Leaves me kind of like, you're an animal cruelty, I hate you! So anyway, um... So yeah, this is the um, thing we thought was the final sub-city, but actually, it's right here. But, I don't want to go in there just yet. Sadly... We still have a lot of stuff we can do on the surface, and I want to get some of it done. So, we're going to take a little bit of break from the action, and we're going to go run some errands instead. So, real quick, I'm going to heal up and save. Um, why I'm on the subject here, uh, this is actually the fifth, no, fourth time I beat that stupid boss. And I'll explain those in a moment. First, I want to say that we're all going to Carton Forest for a little bit. So, yeah, that was the fourth time I beat that boss. Reason for it. The first time, something happened during the actual recording that I didn't want to save it. I wanted to just start over and do it all again. Um, second time, um, my capture card quit recording on me, and I didn't know why. Third time, um, same reason, capture card quit recording. It turned out that my um, memory was so full that my iTunes couldn't even save its play counts while I was, um, I was listening to music to help me fight the boss. Because whenever I can't beat something, I just blast my favorite uh, music, and it always helps me play it better. So... But yeah, so I had to go there and clean out a ton of memory out of my um, computer, but yeah, it all went well. Anyway, what we're doing here is we're looking for about 10 black pixels, um, and here they are. Now, um, this doesn't look like much, but if you pick it up, if you pick it up, pick it up, there you go. It's actually a beetle, and um, I'll explain why I got this in just a moment. First off, let's call roll, shall we? Here we go. So I told you that that clubhouse where those guys were that it would be useful for more stuff later on. And now is that time. So let's head to City Hall, and let's go drop off this beetle to them. Because like I said um, earlier, you can trade various things with them. And when I said four or five last time, I was completely wrong. It's actually only three things. You can give them a beetle and two other things, and I'll go over the other two as we find them. But, um, well actually just later in this episode, but... No, I'm not going to find all three of them in this episode. Just know that right now. 
I'm not gonna be wasting your time on a stupid treasure hunt for 10 minutes, alright? I got other things I want to do in this episode that'll actually get us some pretty cool stuff. Not what I meant. Um, so yeah. Let's just go over here and drop off said beetle. Now, I don't know why you'd ever want a beetle. I hate beetles. <sighs> you know cockroaches can run 20 times their body length in a second? It's creepy. I think it's 20 times anyway. So yeah. They're going to trade it for an old heater. And the game is far too lazy to give us the old heater in the dialogue. So instead, they make us collect it basically twice here. And you can actually walk out without it if you forget about it. But you just go in the pile and... Old heater. The only thing about this pile is no matter how much cool stuff is in here, no matter how many times you click it, unless you've traded something, it won't give it to you. So I guess they just like hide all their good stuff until Mega Man shows up with something to trade. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we are going to do one more thing on this scavenger hunt though real quick. The next item is in this area, so it would be stupid to not pick it up. So let's just hop over this way and we get... Yay, a dirty magazine. Yep. They threw that in the game. I don't know what the... Does it say Marvel on it? I can't tell what it says. Someone should, like, freeze frame that and tell me. Anyway, um, so yeah, we're gonna... Mega Man, come on, dude! For the love of Capcom! Which no one loves. But for real, dude! Ah, chivalry is dead. Or at least it is in Mega Man's world. Oh, well, I do find that kind of funny, I admit. <laughs> um, it gives Mega Man a little bit more character. Action Man with a holographic cover. Okay, dude, this is not... Oh, that is creepy. <laughs> oh, dude, you can have it. No, no, no. Okay, yes, take Action Man. Right, Action Man. Uh. <sighs> so many jokes I must resist making. Interpret as you see fit. Okay, so we're going to get the X Buster for that. Believe it or not, this is not a Buster part. The X Buster is actually a piece to a special weapon that we're going to build later in the game. But we are missing one final piece to it. So for right now, it's just a random item we're carrying around with us. Kind of a bummer, I know. But anyway, with that, let's head back to uh, City Hall because there's uh, something else we can do. Um, actually, no, we need to make another stop by um, the residential area. So let's just go ahead and do that, shall we? And I'll just rocket skate my way there. It's pretty great. I turn, it turns out if you hold back on the control stick, you can slow down and turn sharper. Had I known that, perhaps winning those... Um, oh, pressing on the control stick makes you go... F <sighs> so many things I didn't understand about these skates, which would have helped me win so much in those stupid races. When these, um, when these uh, buildings are double stacked like this, they remind me of the containers those robots were held in in iRobot. <sighs> I love that movie. I wish I had it. Anyway, so let's just go to the museum because we got that fire pot now. We can drop that off. Um, actually, one of the parts we need, or you can get something pretty cool if you uh, fit, max out the museum in here. See that girl in green? I think it's her. I'm not 100% sure. But I believe every time you drop something off here, she'll rotate around the room and eventually she'll give you something. So, yeah. It looks like you know, I'm just pass to this chick, shall we? I don't know what that is. I'm going to look it up later. Why don't we call it a fire pot and put it on display? I love how she just makes up history behind Thank these you things. So much! I bet there I are bet a lot of people, lot who, of come people who would this. come and see this. I know, yeah, you're so annoying. Okay, great. So let's leave and come back real quick. Um and back in. Think um too much. Do you have anything else for her? We do! That's a Reaper bot I Look at it. <laughs> I love the way she said that. The way the light goes through that translucent red. Yeah, not to These mention it kills people. Grade one national treasures. There really? have been lots of diggers who disappeared in the dungeons looking for these. That would be the star attraction for any museum. Wow. Would it really be all right if I put it on display here? I think you can actually also sell that item, but I'm going to put it on display. Because I think you get something better if you don't. We didn't even merit some new dialogue for that. Okay, whatever. You know, let's go over here and check out the uh, fire pot. The fire pot. The fire pot, there it is. Fire pot. Pot of mysterious origin found in Ye Yaz Pass. Named as resemblance to a hibachi. I don't know what that is. I'm going to look up what that is after I'm done recording this, I think. Because it's actually starting to kill me now. Can I just go down the stupid little ladder? Okay. 
Yeah, but every so often, whenever you um, get enough attractions down here, you'll rotate all the people around in the museum. Um, and I think after a while, someone gives uh, you some item. I can't remember exactly what. I'll look it up after I'm done with this episode, but whatever. Um, so anyway, ooh, that actually is pretty cool. Reaverbot Eye. National treasure found in the main gate. Name for, I didn't believe to you. I have a giant Reaverbot. I've fought my fair share of those. I deserve this thing. Let's just be fair. Okay, so I think there is um, a treasure that goes on every long stretch in every corner. So um, that made any sense. So we can find one, two more treasures, I think. Um, then I think we got them all done. Do I have any more? I don't think. I, I'm pretty sure I don't, but. You're no, 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 no. I don't have any more. I don't have any more. I quit. I quit. I quit. I quit. Okay. All right. So before I go, I want to take one more step around the museum here. I didn't really address this too much earlier. And I kind of regret that now, but uh, this picture here with um, the blue armor guy, um, he's got a bow and arrow there. And this is, um, get out of my face, buddy. Okay, what was I saying? Okay, yeah, this painting, it depicts a blue figure with a bow and arrow fighting some kind of giant monster of some kind. Um, and as we know, Mega Man can also read ancient text, so, you know, maybe this is a bit of foreshadowing towards, um... Uh, towards where this game is going, but it's definitely a cool little concept, and I've wondered exactly how much it relates to the canon of this game. Anyway, so if you go over here, this always struck me as Miss Tron for the longest time. I never figured out why. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't know the story behind this painting. Maybe it's some reference or something, but yeah, I don't know. So anyway, with that, let's head out. There's one more thing I want to do before um, I call it a day for this video. So with that, I want to head back to, actually, City Hall, believe it or not. Um, because if we go through here, you'll see that all the buildings are finally rebuilt. The residential area is at its peak once again, thanks in no small part to our pocket. Yay for us. We can feel good about ourselves. But anyway, remember how I was telling you that there are some side quests to do at the police station, but you needed the, um... The uh, residential area all the way put back together before you can do them. Well, the time has come. At long last, we are. This guy has a unique character. What's he up to? Port a subgate entrance appearing in the middle of downtown and uptown. It's better to tell you instead of them. Wow, respect for the police, brother. Okay, whatever. Anyway, so let's go up here and talk to the inspector. And. He's got work for us. A little while ago, this little kid with a yellow face came up to me and told me that he'd dropped something in downtown. He didn't really understand what he said to me. He said he dropped three things and that we'd all better run or something. I'm not sure what it all means, but I've got a hunch it's not right. Could you go check things out for me? Thank you, and good luck. Okay, yeah, a little yellow face dude. Sounds a lot like a little surf bot doodad. <laughs> Voice crack much? Surf bot! Anyway. Uh, rampant booyah! I almost hit that car. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yeah! Alright, I'm boss. Okay, so downtown. Let's see what's up. Hey, what's that over there? A bomb. Of course they're bombs. Yeah, the surf bots were trying to do a, I guess a lousy, poorly executed ransom. But whatever. So that's one of the three items right there. So what we're going to have to do here is find the rest of the uh, bombs that were dropped off. There's going to be uh, three of them in total. One of them just exploded. And you're supposed to ask people where they are. If you talk to What's-Her-Face over there, she'll tell you she saw something by a green building. And if I'm not mistaking that... Mistaken. Mistaking. Um, is there anything in this? There is! Ten. That sucks. Oh, there's one. Get a bomb right there, and I believe the first one you disarm will give you an item too. Switch, and uh, you got that. And now the other one, if you talk to a uh, random construction guy over here, he'll tell you he lost something on the roof, and maybe you should go check on the roofs. Now there actually is a time limit to this, even though it's not blaringly apparent because they don't put it up on the screen. It's a little bit annoying because you never know how long you have, but um, the bombs just kind of randomly go off, so it's a little bit annoying. 
Um, where's the bomb? Wait, don't tell me they randomized it. Oh crap. Uh, that makes sense because I thought I used to find them over here on the roof somewhere. Oh, uh, there it is. Yep. Okay, it was on the other side of the um, roof last time I checked this. Yeah, here's a switch. And disarm it. I don't believe we'll get anything from this one, though. You got bomb. Okay, I accept. I accept your bomb. I have no problems with it at all. Anyway, with that, let's go report back to this inspector. Sorry I dragged this episode out a little bit longer than usual, but I figured since the last episode was literally just 10 minutes of me getting slapped around by one guy, I figured maybe we were it's time we actually got something done in this one, so... Stupid turns. Okay, let's go in there and turn in the bombs. Because I got no business with them, despite the fact that I carry around weapons of mass destruction on my arms. But hey, that's beside the point. Oh, it's you, Mega Man. You're so creepy, I'm just saying. You actually can fail that. Some of the bombs can go off and destroy the city all over again. Is that all I get? Great, that's it. Uh, oops. No items. Oh, I still got the bomb. Maybe Roll can make this into something. I wonder what Roll can make that into, actually. Oh, well. You know what? I think we're good for this episode. Next time on Let's Play Mega Man Legends... I guess it's only fair we go back into those ruins, or into the final sub-city. Um, I am going to do a little bit more off-screen grinding and uh, donate the last bit of money to repair, um, well, whatever's left. And then, uh, yeah, I guess that'll take care of that. So, to repeat myself, next time on Let's Play Mega Man Legends, we'll be heading into the final sub-city. Until then, I'll see y'all next time.